I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and welcome to this special edition of Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. We are less than one month away from the launch of the Sentinel 5P satellite, and following a series of tests and checks, the satellite this week is being fueled. Now, Sentinel 5P will carry an instrument called Tropomi into space to give us a global view of aerosols and of trace gases which affect the air we breathe. Earlier this summer, my colleague Mali caught up with Pepine Wiefkind from the Royal Netherlands Meteorological Institute to learn more about this Tropomi instrument. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm Mali Cheshire for ESA Web TV, and today we are at the Airbus Defence and Space Centre in Stevenage, UK, and we are just outside of the clean room where Sentinel-5 precursor satellite, also known as Sentinel-5P, is located. And with me is Pepine Fiefkind, senior scientist at the Royal Netherlands Meteorological Institute, KNMI, associate professor at the Technical University of Delft, and principal investigator of the Tropomi instrument on Sentinel 5P. Pepine, could you please tell us what the role of KNMI is in this mission? Okay, KNMI is the uh, principal investigator institute, together with uh, ESRON, uh, the institute uh, in the Netherlands. And uh, as uh, the principal investigator, we are responsible for the scientific outcome uh, of the mission. So we have played a role uh, throughout uh, the specification and the development, and we also will play a big role after the launch of the Sentinel-5P. So the specification started off with uh, uh, specifying which of the gases we would like to measure with this instrument and with what accuracy. And during the uh, development phase, for example, we worked on the algorithms and the software that turned the data into the uh, gas concentrations that we, uh, that we wanted to measure. And uh, in the flight phase of the, uh, of the mission, we will also be uh, involved in uh, calibration and validation, looking at the data quality that comes uh, from this mission. Okay. And what sort of data will Sentinel-5P collect and how? Well, the instrument itself is a spectrometer, and that means that uh, it breaks the light uh, that comes back from the Earth into many different colors. Not like our eyes, which only can see three colors, but uh, thousands of uh, different colors. And when you break the light like that, you can see the gas absorption lines of the different gases and distinguish them. So that's the technique that we developed to uh, measure the, uh, the gas concentrations. And uh, of course, these gases that we look at, they are uh, the important gases for air quality, uh, for climate and for monitoring uh, the ozone layer. So that is uh, where in the end uh, we will collect our data for. And uh, just to give you a number, we will uh, measure up to uh, 20 million uh, spectra each day. So we do. 20 million measurements of the Earth's uh, atmosphere every day around the globe. Okay, wow. And what makes the Tropomi instrument so unique? Well, it's unique uh, in many ways. Uh, it's unique uh, by uh, the way it's been uh, uh, built and uh, especially uh, what is really exciting is the very high resolution that we will have with this instrument. So we'll have a spatial resolution which is 10 times higher than the current instrumentation so that means that uh, we will be uh, put on our glasses and th see things much more sharper and much more detailed than we did before and I'm really excited uh, to see those data. Sounds very exciting indeed. Well thank you so much Pepine for being here today and for explaining all these wonderful things and from Airbus Defence and Space in Stevenage UK I'm Mali Chachara for ESA Web TV, wishing everybody a very pleasant day.